Hello video creators, thanks for watching StoryShim. In one of my last tutorials I used this scene as an intro of the video. As you can see, my logo animation is fixed in 3D space. In this After Effects tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this with images, videos or text, right after the message of our sponsor Squarespace. If you want to build your own website or web store then definitely check out Squarespace. I've used them for more than two years now and I can confirm that it's easy to start with their award-winning templates, even if you don't have any experience with web design. And their templates are built in such a way that it will look great on any device like your PC, tablet or smartphone. Use the link squarespace.com slash to get a free trial or 10% discount on your first purchase. The links can be found in the video description. Ok, now it's time to jump over to After Effects and start some editing. In After Effects I've already got this clip of the wooden pier on the timeline. We're going to start by opening the Effects and Presets panel and we're going to search for the 3D camera tracker effect. And by the way, if you can't find the Effects panel, you might need to go to the Window menu and enable the panel there. We're going to apply the camera tracker effect to the clip and once it is applied you will see this message appear on top of the video. And that is because After Effects is now analyzing the video. If you go to the effects control panel you can see the progress here next to the analyze button. Mainly depending on the speed of your system this can take a few minutes, but I'll speed up the video so you don't have to wait. Once the tracking is done you will see all these colored spots in the video. These are all tracking points created by the 3D camera tracker effect. And we can use these points to add other items like text or images in the video into 3D space. If you hover over the points you can see that some of them are connected together to track in a specific orientation. Like this spot for example which is oriented to the surface of the pier. We can now right click on this spot to see the tracking options. For now we'll start with the first option and that is text and camera. As you can see this has added text to the video and it also created a new camera and a new text layer. We could now open up the text layer and then go to the transform properties and then play around with the orientation values. You could for example play around with the XYZ properties to place the text anywhere you prefer. Another option would be to select the text in the program monitor and then reposition the text. Ok so now we've got the text in place and if I scrub to the timeline you can see what we've got so far. And as you can see the text stays perfectly on position in 3D space. In my video I've also added a bit of a focus blur at the moment where you get close to the subject. And at the end it also fades out to make it even more smoother. And we're going to do the same with the text here, so we'll head over to the effects panel and search for the camera lens blur effect. I'll apply this effect to the text layer and then open up the effect properties. And next we're going to enable keyframes for blur radius by clicking on the stopwatch icon here. I'll change the value for this keyframe to 0 and then put the keyframe forward in time on a point where we're closer to the text. And then move a couple of frames forward again until the point where we're almost on top of the text. And that is the point where we'll change the blur radius to the maximum value of 500. And I will also enable keyframes for opacity. We'll set this keyframe to 0% and then move a couple of frames back and create another keyframe with value 100. And now if I scrub to the timeline you can see that it gets blurry and it also fades out. And after rendering it will look something like this. We can also use the 3D camera tracker for other items like images or videos, so let me show you how to do this. In this example I'm going to start at the point where the 3D camera tracker finished analyzing. Then I'm going to pick one of the points on the wooden pier and then right click and select Null and Camera. And now we've got the camera layer and a null layer instead of the text layer that we created previously. And this null layer contains all the tracking information for the point that we selected. We can use this information to fix something in 3D space, like an image or a video for example. And to show you what I mean I'm going to use my logo reveal video. I'm going to add this to the timeline on top of the other layers. And then I'm going to turn this into a 3D layer by clicking here. And this also repositions the layer and now I need to move a couple of frames back to be able to see it again. And in this example I think the logo animation is too close to the camera so I'm going to move it backwards by adjusting the Z axis. And of course you can move your image or video anywhere you prefer. Just look at what works the best with your footage. 
And now the only step that we've got left is parenting the reveal video to the null layer. This way the logo reveal layer will stay fixed on this position based on the information in the null layer. And then after rendering it will look something like this. So if you followed the steps in this tutorial, you should be able to add anything like text, images or videos in 3D space into your project. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did then please like the video or leave a comment below. If you want to see more After Effects tutorials then maybe check out one of these two. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.